Oh, and I'm going to show you how to do your heavy tank 15, and it's about doing, I believe, 12k damage done and uh, received for your T55A. And to be honest, in this game, I wasn't thinking that I could have done my mission because there were way better maps and opportunities for me to do so. But apparently, I am about to show you how to do it here, and. Um, <laughs> And I don't even make it out of here alive, just to give you a spoiler. And I was totally surprised to see the screen say claim your uh, reward. So I'm going to show you some tips and uh, tricks to show you how to do your mission. So you want a heavy heavy tank which has massive amount of alpha damage. And I mean massive because IS-7s, although they're not that bad in damage, you do around 490 each time. But uh, to be honest, I it's really hard to trade effectively uh, against your opponent so therefore my uh, my best choice would be either the mouse or the E100 the mouse just should literally just show your armor and just let them shoot at you uh, the E100 not quite but you know you got the gun to to make use and of course kill all of them if you need to so yeah E100 here uh, you need a bit of heat round seriously I, I've played this tank and I've bounced two times on the arse of a back chat in one single game and that has pissed me off enough to load 20 gold seriously I mean it is that bad this gun is the AP rounds even if you aim at the lower play of E100 it's not going to pen every single time so you know what even a RU251 slamming gold can pen the low play of E100 so I have enough I had enough of shit and uh, I think it's, it is justified to use gold from time to time and you can see here I shoot AP down into the side of the IS-7 and it bounces flat on onto your side okay it might have hit his space armor blah 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 but come on shot with an E100 150, 150 millimeter gun seriously you expect to, to bounce so I therefore now I just load the gold and just say fuck it and then you see 700 damage straight away and especially if you're doing your missions, you cannot afford to miss a single shot and afford to bounce one because that could mean mission completion and mission not completing. So I think you should load a few gold rounds just to make sure you do this mission. But playing E100 normally, you might not need as much gold as you like I have put here 20 gold. But this tank carries tons of gold, does not mean you really need to use it all the time. Just give you some option if you need to carry. Uh, and you can see IS-7 here, the, the gold, come on, okay, oh shit, even the gold bounces, so yeah, this tank gun is really trollish and uh, uh, it's just disgusting, isn't it, uh, when you bounce on the side of IS-7s uh, so regularly when you're in a E-100, you know, you're supposed to be the big boss in tier 10, and you can see the angling on the E-100 will bounce a few shots. You don't need to give, as long as you don't don't give them flat armor. Your armor is pretty strong to hold it up, as you can see. If you angle like 45 degrees, there's not much chance for them to really do much to you. And uh, oh shit! You can see the gun, the shell velocity is low, and that is going to affect you quite a bit, to be honest. And we're going to sh kill this IS-3. No, or not? Okay. I actually was clever enough to go out in front of a Borsig and I think at this moment it's probably the best idea to finish that ISU-152 as he could put shots into the side of our tanks and there goes the shot I'm looking for and now just just watch the heat round hit me or not yeah there goes the heat as you can see pen straight through my armor I try to show him my side skirt because side skirts absorb heat round quite effectively. But looking for shots like this is really difficult in your E100. Um, and I've received quite a bit of punishment already. I don't want to show them directly my turret because uh, that's easy to pen. And you can see they're drilling holes into me, like if I don't have any armor or something. And that could be really frustrating for an E100 player. So you, you just have to take it like a man and hopefully your <laughs> the enemy does bounce enough for you to uh, do your mission here and looking for the long range sniping shots oh not not quite but again 
sniped it. That was clutch. Well, that was just lucky as well. And there I'm receiving some real treatment from the SU-101 who's spamming heat 24-7 at the front of a U E-100. Not going to blame him because actually I think I would have done the same if I were him to see an E-100. Like, I you really have to take out E-100 when you get the chance to otherwise it would be foolish, right? Because you're just literally giving the chance for E100 to finish the rest of your team off if you don't kill him when you got the opportunity to to do so. So yeah, loading gold is not a problem with that in that case if you don't spam it all the time, you know. I'm fine with it. Uh, but but when it's just way too much, it, just uncontrolled uncontrolled amount of gold that can be super annoying as well so again back chat is going to secure the the south point uh, uh, as I am going to help him out by nuking the, the leopard I've done 4k damage here and remember I need to do 12k so that means 8k damage 8k blocked or something and you can see I'm bouncing shots here and now shit is getting real and I mean it I'm not looking directly at the SU because he could pen my uh, current armor to be honest and I'm angling perfectly here come on shoot me with your gold, you're not gonna pen me, I don't think and then the party is gonna get ruined by a, a certain 90 who is you know, going to show me how you can kill even on this but I just need to kill this SU 101, he's pissing me off the entire game and I get finished off here with 5k damage done but apparently my team does win and I, I well I don't actually see the end of this but 5k damage and god knows how much I've actually blocked uh, the after game stats didn't come up either so I have no idea how much I've done but I've uh, done the mission so uh, what I have to say is that just just use the E100 sh angle the armor let them bounce and just return every single time you, you just want to do unfair trades basically and sometimes give them shots where they think they can pen you but they really can't pen you uh, like, let's say that you shoot a Yagpanda E100 here at this angle you give them this much angle but they think they can pen you here but no you know the side just bounces all the time you know you want to give them those shots and good luck to you on the battlefield to do your mission heavy tank 15 and we shall see you next time